What's up everybody, hope you're having a good fun. Today, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to fix iPhone is disabled problem. Now, you may come across this issue if you try typing in wrong passcode on your iPhone multiple times. But don't worry, it's quite easy to get away from. Now guys, the method that I'll be covering in today's video is absolutely safe and legal to use. We're gonna be using 4 key software from Tenosure in order to recover our Apple devices. 4 key software works with a wide range of Apple devices, including iPhones, iPads, and even iPods. The best part of using this method is the fact that it supports pretty much all iOS versions, including the latest iOS 14. Now guys, I wanna let you know one thing before I go on showing you guys the process, that being after you fix your Apple device using 4 key software, you will lose all the data that was previously present on your Apple device. But don't worry, if you already made the backup in the past using iTunes, you will be able to restore it afterwards. But guys, all the 4 key software is absolutely free to download but it actually requires a paid subscription plan to function but don't worry I've got your back if you use the promo code that I provided down in the description of this video you will be able to avail 30% discount on your purchase on top of that Tenor Shiro is also giving me five licenses that I can give away to you people for absolutely free so all you gotta do to get one is just comment down below and let me know how do you get stuck with iPhone is disabled screen Alright guys, so the very first link provided in the video description is gonna take you to this page from where you can download the For You Key software. Now over here you're gonna find some details about this software, like you can unlock pretty much all sorts of lock screens including Touch ID and Face ID locks. You can even factory reset your iPhone without knowing the password. And what's cool about this method is that it doesn't even require the use of iTunes. Oh and by the way, you can also unlock Apple ID on your iPhone or iPad without knowing the password using the For You Key software, but only if you are on iOS 11 or below. Now, once you install the software on your PC, go ahead and open it up. Now, the very first thing that you gotta do is register yourself under this software to make it functional. Kindly check the link in the description of this video to learn more about that. All right, now you will see three options over here for recovering your iPhone. One for unlocking the passcode, one for removing the Apple ID, and another one for bypassing MDM. I'm gonna go with unlock lock screen passcode option. So with this option, you can fix your iPhone is disabled problem as well as forgotten passcode issue. Tapping on the start button, you will be taken to this page where you will be asked to put your iPhone inside of the recovery mode. Now the steps can differ depending upon which device you are using in order to get inside of the recovery mode. Now since I'm using iPhone 8 Plus, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll first connect my iPhone with my laptop, then I'll press first the volume up key, then the volume down key, and right after that I'll press and hold the power button until I'm taken inside of the recovery mode. Now in the next step, you have to download the firmware for your iPhone through the For You Key software. Select the path where you want to save the file and then tap on the download button. The software will start downloading the firmware and that's going to take a lot of time depending upon the size of the file. So you got to be patient during this stage. Just keep your iPhone connected to your PC during this process. Finally, once the downloading is completed, the software will start removing the passcode from your Apple device. So guys, once the process of removing the lock is finally completed, you can unplug your iPhone from the PC and start setting it up from the scratch.
guys that's it for today's video hope you all enjoyed watching it if you have any questions kindly let me know in the comments down below i'll try my best to answer them and yeah see you guys in the next one